A massive star is dying in the Orion constellation. Betelgeuse is a red giant star, 14 times larger than the Sun, and is living out its final days after an ephemeral existence of a few million years. The end is near, and it may have already happened. We are 643 light years away, so if it were to happen now, we wouldn't know about the explosion until 643 years later. If it happened over 600 years ago, we are on the verge of receiving its explosion and gamma ray burst. At the moment of Betelgeuse's collapse, a vast amount of matter is released in a short time, equivalent to the solar mass over 10,000 years. Betelgeuse explodes and disintegrates in milliseconds. Any planet in that system would be destroyed, and this devastating reach would extend for several light years, destroying atmospheres and any life within them. The powerful gamma rays can even extend for thousands of light years. What we just explained corresponds to the collapse of a giant star called a supernova, and they are one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. They release so much energy that they can even outshine the light of a galaxy. Suppose the sun were to explode as a supernova right now. The solar system would be bombarded for weeks with large bursts of gamma rays, material and dust, ending Earth and all destroyed planets. But the sun doesn't have enough mass to explode in a supernova. Its death in five billion years will cause it to expand and devour Mercury, Venus, and even Earth. Most stars in the galaxy have less mass than the sun, so witnessing supernovas in our lifetime is special and unique events. Supernovas are considered seeds of destruction and life. They are the engines of creation. In their explosions, nuclear fusion processes occur that result in the capture of protons and create many elements such as carbon, iron, potassium, oxygen, nickel, and other elements necessary for the formation of new planets and complex life. But these same explosions can devastate vast galactic regions, destroying the DNA of living beings and even rendering the technology of other civilizations unusable. So what would happen if a supernova explosion reached Earth? The mechanism of a supernova explosion can be in two forms. The most common is the explosion of a star due to the gravitational collapse of its core, known as Type 1b, 1c, and two supernovas. The second is less common and corresponds to a thermonuclear explosion due to a white dwarf accumulating too much mass from its companion and exploding. They are called Type 1 as supernovas. Both are supernova explosions and have the same devastating effects and creation of more complex elements. When a star explodes, we might imagine it's similar to explosions on Earth. However, it's nothing like it. A supernova would resemble a volcanic eruption followed by a tsunami. Inhabitants of other planets would see a bright light in the sky illuminating for a month and gradually turning into a cloud. Those clouds are fascinating, but they emit hot gas and radiation at 10,000 kilometers per second and expand uncontrollably, devouring stellar regions and planets within a radius of 10 light years. However, that hot gas continues to expand for tens of thousands of years and can reach a diameter of dozens of light years. Wait a moment. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to show some support by leaving a like and subscribing. That said, let's continue. What could happen to us if this cosmic tsunami reaches us? Well, it would depend on the type of supernova and above all, the distance. If the supernova is thousands of light years away or more, its effects would not be noticeable on our planet. The radiation would be dispersed in interstellar space. Most supernovas we have witnessed in history were at this distance. For a long time, we believed they corresponded to the birth of stars or novas. These events shone much brighter than the moon for weeks. We couldn't imagine that the death of a star would be so beautiful in the sky. If a star like Betelgeuse is 600 light years away, you wouldn't notice its effects either. Any gamma radiation that could reach us would be stopped by the sun's magnetic shield that forms like a bubble around the solar system. If the supernova is 300 light years away, we still wouldn't notice its effects. It's an explosion that happens every few million years and would appear as a very bright light in the sky, even during the day. We know that several supernovas have affected us in the last 10 million years. We know this from the findings left in rocks and ocean sediments, such as radioactive iron isotopes, in the past, supernovas formed a bubble around what is now the solar system and nearby stars, known as the local bubble, up to 300 light years in diameter. Thanks to these explosions that enriched interstellar space, it became a stellar nursery zone and allowed the formation of the sun, planets, and other stars. A rain of cosmic rays could affect existing ions in our atmosphere that contribute to cloud formation, so they could increase or decrease the amount of clouds. If a supernova reaches us at 150 light years away, we would start to notice some of its effects. Stars have magnetic fields of great power, and when they explode, 
they trigger a cosmic tsunami with a large amount of energy that expands outward. They are like giant particle colliders that accelerate charged particles to almost the speed of light. This means that when we see a bright light in the sky from a supernova, it is spreading lethal radiation for several decades of light years. If the supernova occurs from 100 to 150 light years away, it could affect the ions in our atmosphere that contribute to cloud formation and change the climate, which could have harmful effects. The radiation could cause cases of cancer in many people during the time of the supernova. We wouldn't be able to carry out space flights because astronauts cannot survive in space with radiation waves outside the protective atmosphere of Earth. Still, at this distance, it wouldn't be enough to cause a mass extinction. If the supernova is 50 light years away or less, things get serious because it could completely change the Earth's climate and there would be extinctions due to lethal radiation. High energy photons would reach Earth. Supernova radiation would destroy oxygen and nitrogen molecules and in the process create nitrogen oxide. This would disrupt the natural balance of the atmosphere and the ozone layer would be destroyed in several areas. We would be exposed to ultraviolet radiation. Going outside would be deadly and we would need to protect ourselves with special clothing and avoid contaminated air. We would need air purifiers to filter nitrogen oxide from the air. Even with these measures, cases of cancer would increase alarmingly. In the ocean and in many forests, things wouldn't be better. Radiation would eliminate many species of animals. Supernova energetic radiation would also strip electrons from electrically charged atomic nuclei, forming giant clouds with huge electrical storms. This situation would be catastrophic for life as we know it on Earth, triggering an unprecedented environmental collapse. Life would disappear from Earth and the sea in the following weeks and months. Fires would ravage the entire planet. Humanity would have to take refuge in a bunker for a few years, but as soon as they wanted to go out to look for food, they would find a world devastated by radiation. After all this, Earth would recover and life would likely reappear. It is possible that some form of microscopic or multicellular life continues to evolve towards intelligence over several million years and we would have a second generation intelligent species. At some point, they might encounter the remains of an ancient advanced civilization that called themselves humans. Their extinction led to the evolution of other species. However, there is another event even more powerful than a supernova, hypernovas. These are considered the most violent explosions in the universe and occurred due to the collapse of a very massive star that gives rise to a black hole. In the process, they emit powerful jets of gamma rays and are incredibly rare. In a few seconds, they emit more energy than the sun in its nearly 5 billion years of existence. For these super explosions, any hypernova within 1,000 light years would cause a mass extinction. So we should be concerned about whether a supernova or hypernova affects us in the vast cosmic immensity. Millions of stellar factories see the light for the first time. And in the most remote places of the cosmos, massive stars eject layers of almost dust causing complex elements so that the great cosmic machinery never stops and continues its course of destruction and renewal. If we expand throughout the galaxy, we will have more chances of surviving this and other events. Our destiny is to return to the stars and learn more about the great cosmos of which we are a part. But let's slow down a bit. If you liked the video and want to know more, leave us a comment and we'll bring a second part. I say goodbye. Goodbye. See you in another video.